Sports Office is about football because we're in the football postseason and we have a special guest today, the executive the director of the New Mexico Bowl, Jeff Simbieta, sitting to my left and always Lawrence Gilligan is also with us this time. And uh, Jeff, you got a big week, man. <laughs> Welcome to my sports office. <laughs> it's not, I like it. I yeah, like it's it. all right. It's not bad, yeah. huh? No, it's, it's decent. We're living, in his right? office. It's, it's not bad, right? No, it's, it's a mess now, but we're busy. Well, you, you know, know what? what? A mess. I was, I was worried about people with clean desks now. How do you, if you got a clean desk, well, are what you, are you doing, doing? work? What yeah. are you doing? But that's me, because I'm we, we both can vouch that it's not the yeah, case. In our place. In our place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think they call us hoarders. Yeah. Yeah. Hoarders yeah. the word. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to my hoarder do. shop. You know, you probably <laughs> do a good, pretty though. good show and you're selling this stuff off. Yeah. Well, well, you, speaking of which, man, you, uh, for people who might not know how crazy this week is for you, I mean, just give them a taste of it. Tell right. them, I mean, because we walked in, we saw all these boxes, all these gifts yeah. all over the place. There's hardly, it's like a maze of gifts for all the teams and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And, yeah. and then you're doing that, you got a game to do. You got people calling you because there's certain things that go with the game. And Yeah, know. no, the detail is, uh, is tremendous. I, everything from, from tickets, that's what people say to me. Mm -hmm. What do you do all year? You got a great job. A, yes, I do have a great job and I love it. But B, I'm working all year. Yeah. And, and, and this whole staff is working all year, and we're, we're in go time. But you walk through that maze, and you saw the variety of gifts and the boxes and, and just how many people are going to work. I, today, you know, we're, what, a week and a day out mm -hmm. when we're sitting in, in the yeah. office. But I, I'm dealing with, with flights, hospitality. I'm booking rooms for, you know, Gildan people who are coming in, ESPN people, getting pictures of Tony Dorsett, who's going to be our guest speaker, uh, working on, on sponsorships, putting together signage, uh, proof, proof, proofreading the program. And that means, you know, the work is done now. We're, we're finishing it. But it's, the, the detail that goes into an event like this probably would make people – you know, scratch their head and just go, wow. I, and and I, I always feel like I'm missing something. For instance, yeah. I was putting together a list today. Yeah. We do a VIP dinner on um, Thursday night of next week. The presidents, the athletic directors, the coaches. And uh, who did I miss? You know, who did I miss? And you don't yeah. want to miss anybody. We're putting together the me. basket list. Who's getting the VIP baskets? Make sure you don't miss. Okay, the Pac-12 commissioner's coming in on, on uh, Friday night. Okay, and so is the person from the Mountain, mm -hmm. with the Pac Mountain West commissioner. And we got to take care of uh, the guy from ESPN. And we got this group over here. And what are we giving them? What size should we give them? And th th there's a ton of detail. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, uh, yeah. it's fun. We've been doing it seven years now. I, I think we're pretty good at it. Mm -hmm. But no, there's no. always something you just go, Oh, come on, I forgot, yeah, you know. That's going to always be, yeah. man. That's yeah. going to always be. How, how, how about that matchup, too? Uh, it's yeah. two quality teams, two, uh, two quality fan bases, you know. What, uh, what are your expectations for, for the attendance? And, and I guess just, I guess just talk, to talk about the teams itself. I, I love the matchup, mm -hmm. um, football-wise. I mean, and, and, you know, with the three or four of us, if we sat down and we love football, yeah. we could talk about this from a football perspective, mm -hmm. and I think it might be uh, the most intriguing matchup maybe we've had in our seven it's years. Pretty good, yeah. We've got... Two of the top offenses in the country, yeah. the top two running backs in the country are going to play the University Stadium mm -hmm. to open up bowl season. You've got, you know, the, both quarterbacks are top 11, I think, in total offense, mm -hmm. and both of them are the team's second leading rusher. So yeah, it, it's exciting. I saw, I think it was Bleacher Report, somebody had the game they predicted 62 53. Oh, <laughs> it was just one out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which would That'd be, be fun to watch, though. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't it? I mean, yeah. I, I, I just think we got a game. I, I'd like it. Um, you know, it's funny. You, you look at the TV number. Mm -hmm. In both of the last two years, something happened right before halftime to make it a 21 point game, and you could see the dip a little bit in the television mm -hmm. number. Uh, UTEP's guy dropped a touchdown pass two years ago at halftime instead of 31 17, which is a high scoring shootout. Yeah. It was 31 10, which is a blowout, so maybe people tune away. Last year, Wyoming scored right before halftime time to make it 21-7 mm -hmm. and then Temple scored came right back and hit a home run right before halftime so you know that that stuff's out of your control sure. I hope the crowd's good you know you guys have heard it and you, you've been around this town long mm -hmm. enough now people have been saying when are we going to get a Pac-12 when are we going to get and they always say it's a BCS team that's why yeah. I always wanted it we got one we got one and, and I, I I would tell this community it's probably time now to say okay you know step up yeah, um, yeah sure. we got what you wanted and we got a good Pac-12 team. Yeah. We got a seven to five Arizona team that beat USC, mm -hmm. that you know that beat Oklahoma right. State, mm -hmm. that lost in overtime to Stanford, who's going to the Rose Bowl, who's the Pac-12 champion. Rich Rodriguez is a big name coach mm -hmm. from the, from the Pac-12 side. So I think we got a really good team. It used to be well, do you six and six teams. We haven't had a six and six team in two years. We had two mm -hmm. eight and fours last year. We got two seven and fives this year. We got a Hall of Fame coach in Chris All, mm -hmm. uh, the second leading rusher in the country in Stephon Jefferson. I love the matchup, and hopefully it's it's time where, where New Mexico steps out and says, you know what, we really really are, are stoked that we have this game, and we're fortunate. There's 28 communities in America that have a bowl game, mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of them who have two, and there's a lot more who want them.
And the reason is, bowl games are great for every community in which they're played. Yeah. The economy benefits, there's a right. direct spend, there's profiling. We're on television for three and a half, four hours, talking about New Mexico and Albuquerque and Albuquerque and Albuquerque and New Mexico. It, there, there's no negatives to it. And, and so hopefully with this matchup and, and you know, talk to Ron Kenny about the forecast. And yeah. Hopefully, I know everybody wants snow, and I do right. too, on the 16th, not on the 15th. But, you know, I, I just, I think we've got the potential of something really good. What about, uh, you know, you talk about the seven years that you guys have been going. You believe that? I know, it's, it seemed like it was yesterday from the first game, but I remember all the games, you know, like I remember the Lobos playing mm -hmm. Nevada, and I remember Garth Trail Johnson, mm -hmm. and I remember Wyoming and Fresno shocking everybody mm -hmm. because that game was insane. They stopped Ryan Matthews four times at the goal line, and that's it's unbelievable, man. That is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. uh, but but what's the overall health of, like, the bowl? I know that you guys, mm -hmm. you know, like everything, the economy gets tightened, and sure. I know you guys had a cutback in some of the funding from the state and stuff like yep. this this year. How are you guys doing, and how do you offset any kind of cuts? I would tell you that the bowl is healthy, and and it, like any other business, you know we've had to make adjustments as the economy went mm -hmm. the way the economy went. Um, you know, in 2006, uh, was different. It was doing business in a different climate than it is in 2012. With that, you know, we've we've made the necessary adjustments, and, and you know, people like to talk about the um, the story you know that, that was on on the news you know, a few months back about uh, the state reducing our funding, and and we had enough time. We've known about that for the majority of the year. We've had enough time. We were able to retain enough of our assets. We we're able to go out and find partners in our national base. We got a national sales team because we're owned by ESPN. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a national sales team out of New York and Atlanta and Las Vegas and, and California that was able to go and find partners and, and, and recoup the majority of, of what was you know what, what we were expecting from, uh, from the original state agreement. So I, I would tell you that that from that aspect we're healthy. Business is tough, and I'm going to tell you that, that it's been easier. Um, I mean, there's been challenges, but there, I, I think the challenges that we've been able to, to face and meet and tackle, and uh, I like the health of this game. Now, you look at the college landscape and, and college athletics, mm -hmm. I, you guys might have noticed over the last <laughs> every hour it's changing, and, and yeah, so oh, and, and yeah. we're monitoring that, but we've been a beneficiary of that in relation to our, our, our deal with Pac-12, right? If everything stayed the same, we probably wouldn't have had a Pac-12 team coming in this week. Um, you know, as we look forward to the next cycle, the next agreement, I don't know if anybody knows if they're going to be four-year agreements like they have been in the past, mm -hmm. or is it going to go 12 years because the, the playoff thing is a 12-year uh, contract. So w we're, looking, we're looking for additional funding so we can step up and become a player and remain a player. Look, everything's about money, right? Yeah. So when you say, you know, what are the payouts? The way these bulls are slotted, why you know number one is, is higher than number seven, would be they're paying out more. Because of money. And, and right. you know I think we've got a ceiling probably on what we can make. Mm -hmm. You can only charge so much for tickets in New Mexico, mm -hmm. and you only can we have a thirty-eight thousand seat stadium. So you can't make what the Rose Bowl makes. You can't. And so you've got to find revenue sources and um, and, and do the best with them. And, and you know it's it's a challenge. We're getting creative. and I think we're healthy. How about the importance of having a bowl slot? You know, you talk about kicking off the bowl season versus maybe being in that bowl right before the national championship game. You know, mm -hmm. what, what do you feel uh, is better, I guess, well, or, or more, you know, yeah. Yeah, I, I, there's advantages to being first. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt. The promotional advantage to being first, people watch the game, the mm -hmm. television rating is, is good. There are some disadvantages. For instance, I mean, the, the time, the turnaround, we have a 12-day turnaround mm -hmm. uh, to get everything done. Mm -hmm. um, would I love another week or two to sell tickets? Sure, I'd mm -hmm. love a week. You know, I, I talk to, you know, friends in, in Vegas. They've got an extra week. The guys who run the uh, our, our our bowl game in Fort Worth, mm -hmm. they're on, they've got an extra 15 days. Our our game in Birmingham, they've got an extra three weeks yeah. on us. I think they're on the like fourth or something, wow. fifth like that. Yeah. So th there's advantages. This year's really early. This year, the third, and it usually starts on the third Saturday of December. Well, the third Saturday of December is the 15th. It can't get any earlier. Yeah. Next year it'll be the 21st. We've ran, in, ran into, we've run into some problems, challenges with final exams. Both schools are in the middle of finals, um, and they're working around that. We work with them, proctoring, you know, flexible with the schedule, the travel. Um, you know, Arizona's got a basketball game that night yeah. at home against Florida. It's their biggest, and they're a basketball school. Yeah. Um, and so they're, they're look. You schedule an event and you go. There's always going to be a conflict with, with dates. Yeah. The early thing, I'll tell you, being first is great. The promotional value is great. There's a lot of opportunities. Um, if we're first again next year, we've got a really, really, really nice national promotion that we were almost able to pull off this year that I think would be huge. Um, 
I, I think for us, Saturday afternoon is really important mm -hmm. um, to play a Saturday yeah. afternoon game. We've got opportunities, A, to play on Christmas, which I think is uh, highly imperfect, Christmas Eve, well, highly imperfect, um, or Friday night, and, and we fought for Saturday. Well, looking, for the, looking at the schedule, uh, you guys anticipate any parking problems because that Lobos and Aggies game, I, I couldn't believe it. It was like Lobos and Aggies game at 4 o'clock on the same day as the New Mexico Bowl. And, you know, I, I did a double take because I was like, well, how did this happen, you know? So do you guys anticipate any, like, parking I don't. issues? <laughs> I, our game's first. I don't. You know, yeah. I, you know, like people trying to get out. Yeah, like, no, you know, you know I, I don't. Um, you know, again, the word I use a lot is imperfect. I mean, I, you know, it's unfortunate that that game happens to be that day. And that's the rivalry game. That's why, you know, it feels like Portland coming in here. Then he's thinking, like, ah, you know, but it's Lobos and Aggies. <laughs> that's why I was like, what? <laughs> but, 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 I mean, on the, on the positive side, maybe it gives you more more, more people so on the stands. Coming over. Yeah, you go I check that so. out and then just kind of wander on over to the pit and yeah, just hang around, so. you know. I would hope that uh, nobody would be discouraged, mm -hmm. you know, because of that game. And we'll see. Yeah. As far as the parking issues, look, you know, they, UNM has worked with their with their park, with their season mm -hmm. ticket holders and whatever they're they're going to do. We put it we, again, like I, I said earlier, we, you put a game on on the, on the uh, calendar, mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. we go. And our game was on the calendar, and and, and you know, UNM opted to schedule basketball that mm -hmm. originally that night and then that day. So what can I do about it? Yeah, we're going to go on and do the right. best we can. Mm -hmm. I, I, I learned a long time ago. <laughs> you, you worry about what you can control. That's and, true. And and I can't yeah. control that, so I can't worry about it. I, I, you know, we're going to go on and put on the best show. We had um, a few years ago uh, the double overtime day. Yeah. They played a game, a uh, basketball oh, game yeah. that day. You're right. right. Yeah. And, and, and it went and it went and it went. And you know, we've had these meetings now because they use a lot of the same stat crew and a lot of the same. Yeah. You know, the, the, the concession people shut us down in the third quarter and went over. That's not okay. And yeah. So. I've been told, I mean, if anybody's got a, got a concern about that, you know, yeah. we rent the facility from UNM. I've been assured by, by UNM and, and Sodexo that the concessions will stay open, that they're, they're staffed, that, they're, that there's yeah. enough people so you can get a hot chocolate in the fourth quarter of our game if sure. you need one. I, I, again, is it imperfect from our angle? Maybe, it, you know, if you, if you ask me, would we rather, you know, would, would we have scheduled that for them? No, but that's the way it is, and we're going to go on and, and uh, be a partner and do the best we know how to do. You know, that, that being first thing, I was just sitting there thinking that, you guys are going to probably have a better chance of having a good game because the players will still be sharp. You know, they're not sitting at home Something eating mama's that. cooking, mm -hmm. cooking, and then, okay, we got to start playing again. It's almost like the first week of practice. Yeah. You know, everybody's not sharp or and different things like that. But you guys, it's like they just had a bye week, and here they are. They're back again. Yeah. So so I think with that said, you you probably have the potential to have a pretty exciting game. Yeah, and Rich Rodriguez mentioned that the other day. He said, it, it, you know, it is kind of like a bye week. You know, I guess if if you can stand out early, mm -hmm. you know you're you're gonna it's it's gonna it's gonna make an impression. Yeah. I think once you get into bowl week and there's a there's a game and I'm not belittling everybody. I mean you know you spin it however you want to spin yeah. it. And if you're on Thursday night at bowl week, you know in the middle of it you're gonna have the greatest slot ever. Right? And and I get yeah. that. But once you start getting into them, I mean there's one every night and you know you got the Poinsettia Bowl and then you got the Beefo Brady's Bowl and then you got the Mako Bowl Las Vegas and then you know all, all those. The Gildan New Mexico Bowl is first, and then the, it's followed that day by the uh, famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's my favorite logo. I, yeah, you, even, even that logo. That's you got logo. meat and potatoes. Would well, you see the picture? It, it's, it's like a potato. Is it beef? And no, it's a football that's a potato with the sour cream as a yeah. lace. It's, it's a great logo. But, uh, but, you know, being first is good, and, and, and yeah. I think the game will be good. I think, you know, and, and bottom line is, then I can get some Christmas shopping. Yeah, my little hey, girl, you know what? My You're little right. girl, I gotta go talk to Santa because my little girl now, they need some Christmas, and and for the first time, and I can't in seven years, I'm gonna have nine days to shop, there eight you days. That's huge. Yeah, no, that's gigantic. <laughs> and then I, you know, might even go and watch the uh, San Diego County Credit Union Point City Bowl, and maybe the Maple Bowl Las Vegas, and might even get to the national championship game. Yeah, we'll well, I know you got stuff to do, uh, Jeff. You, Lawrence, you got anything else to ask him about? Or? It's good. See you on Saturday. No, fellas, welcome, yeah. welcome to my, my yeah, sports office. Yeah, you guys are welcome it. here yeah, anytime. And I, I just I appreciate it. You guys have you've been unbelievably supportive, and, and, and you guys get it. And uh, I, I guess, you know, if I had anything to, to, to say it, to people on the way out is, is, you know, embrace this because this is a quality of life thing that, that a lot of communities want. We got and I yeah. want to grow it. You know, I understand everybody wants the Rose Bowl right away. Everybody wants the biggest and best. We're getting there. We're a seven-year-old bowl in a 100-year-old system, and we do things the right way. And I would, I, would, I would encourage you, if you haven't been there, come out and take a look at it because I, I'd be the one who hears it, 
I never hear somebody say, man, that wasn't that good. Everybody says they had a good no, time. No, they have the, even the Coming players and coaches, coaches, they have good things yeah. to say about yeah. it. I can vouch for that. So. Yeah. Fellas, thanks for coming by. Yeah. Jeffrey, Definitely. thank you for having us. Uh, Jeff Simbieta, Executive Director of the New Mexico Bowl. Of course, Lawrence Gilligan, always a contributor here. And uh, Robert Pugsley behind the camera. We'll see you next time. <laughs>